Hello, happy Monday. Welcome back to the RPM Garage YouTube channel, and welcome back to another episode of Review Mondays. Today, we have two fantastically modified Porsche 911s for you, and they are both modified in very unique and very awesome ways. The first is a 2007 Porsche 911 Carrera with almost exclusively cosmetic modifications that make this car look incredibly wild from bumper to bumper. This car is insanely eye-catching, and you'll definitely want to stick around to watch the full montage to see how cool this car is from every angle. The second car in today's video is a 2007 Porsche 911 Turbo, and this car, unlike the Carrera that we just talked about, has had most of its modifications made to its engine, although there are still plenty of cosmetic modifications as well that make this car truly unique in every aspect. Both of these cars are incredibly fun to drive, look incredibly cool, and most importantly, make an incredible noise. So be sure to stick around for both of the startup videos of these two incredible German sports cars. But before we dive into either one of these cars or this video, I have to take a second right now to ask each and every single one of you to subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with a friend. It's free, it's easy, and we'd really appreciate it if you do it. It means a ton to myself and to everyone else at the RPM Garage. With that said, let's dive into this video and these two incredible cars. The first car in today's video is a 2007 Porsche 911 Carrera with a ton of insane modifications to its exterior to make it a one-of-a-kind machine like nothing else. The car is powered by a 3.6 liter flat six horizontally opposed engine that makes this car just about as Porsche as a Porsche can be. This engine produces 325 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque and that is sent to the rear wheels through a five-speed automatic transmission that throws some incredibly fast shifts and some very comfortable ones as well. So your interior comfort is not compromised when you're driving this car aggressively. This engine has received a couple of upgrades. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this car does have a significantly upgraded exhaust system that produces one of the greatest sounds you'll ever hear out of the back of a German sports car. I highly urge you to either stick around and listen to it or skip to the point in the video where that startup happens and go listen to it if nothing else because truly this car does sound absolutely incredible. Where this car truly does shine though is its exterior. From bumper to bumper, this car has received several aftermarket upgrades and modifications to make it a truly one of a kind German performance machine with style to match. Some of the aftermarket upgrades you may or may not have noticed are an aftermarket front bumper with a GT3 style cut out on the front, some aftermarket taillights attached to an aftermarket rear hatch with intake vents and a whale tail spoiler. There are several subtle details that have been added to this car as well, including tinted headlights and a racing stripe decal, among plenty of other cool and unique features. As a result of all of these insane upgrades, this car looks absolutely incredible from every angle, as I'm sure you could tell in the video that you just saw, as I'm sure you can tell right now as we walk around this incredible machine. In the interior, this car is not short of comfort features, having received leather bucket seats, an infotainment display with phone connectivity, navigation compatibility, and a CD player, which is attached to a Bose audio system that produces a fantastic sound. Although, quite frankly, as I said before, I don't know why you'd wanna to listen to anything other than this insane 3.6 liter flat six engine. That said, this car does come with a price tag, and that price tag is 
$39,991, which is a fantastic deal given that this car provides you with every bit of kit that you would need to attract some serious attention from car enthusiasts and not alike. And though the car does have 102,000 miles on its odometer, that is actually very reasonable on a Porsche, which do tend to be more reliable than I think a lot of people will give them credit for. That said, I strongly urge you to come check this car out because I am almost positive that it will not be on our lot for very long. The first car in this video was very cosmetically oriented, although it still packed a serious punch. However, this 2007 Porsche 911 Turbo packs a punch like nothing else. At the rear of the car is a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged H6 engine that from factory produces 480 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. This power is delivered to all four wheels through a five-speed automatic transmission, which means that this car delivers fast and incredibly smooth shifts 100% of the time and gives you full access to every ounce of power that this car has to offer, which means that you can truly launch this car from zero to 60 in no time flat. However, I should point out, as I said at the beginning of the video, that this is by no means a stock car. This car has received a turbo IPD intake plenum, an IPD 82 millimeter competition plenum, and an AP exhaust, as well as, most importantly, upgraded turbos, among plenty of other incredible upgrades as well, which means that this car produces an outrageous amount of power at all times and is incredibly fun to be behind the wheel of, no matter how you're choosing to drive it. However, I should point out that this car is not just a performance-oriented build. This car has received 19-inch multi-piece HRE alloy wheels, an aftermarket rear wing on top of the stock 911 Turbo rear wing, which is a very interesting but very aggressive-looking combination that I personally quite like. In addition, the car has also received several upgrades to its exterior as well, beyond the spoiler and the HREs, and this includes a matte black wrapped roof and topside panels, as well as tinted taillights and a couple of other small details around the car that truly give this car an extra level of aggression from every angle. And most importantly, like the first Porsche in the video, this car has not been skimped on when it comes to interior comforts. This car has received leather bucket seats and several very nice interior features, including heated seats, a leather steering wheel, a Bose audio system, and an Alpine infotainment display with CD, AM and FM radio, navigation, and plenty of other fantastic features that give this car all the creature comforts that you'd expect from a high-end, very expensive German sports car, which this most definitely is. This car had an original MSRP with zero modifications of well over $120,000, and the fact is this car only does have about 40,000 miles on the odometer, which means that you are getting an incredible deal for this car when you buy it at our price of $82,991 because you are not only getting a true performance machine, but you are also getting a heavily upgraded performance machine that has no comparison whatsoever on any level. 
truly, I urge you to come check out this car because I am certain that it will not spend much time in our dealership, but you should definitely take a second right now to listen to this car start up and rev. That 911 Turbo does bring us to the end of this video, unfortunately, but before we wrap things up, the question, of course, must be asked of these two incredible German sports cars, which one would you choose? Personally, I find it insanely difficult to decide. Both offer insane value for money and a ton of crazy, authentically German performance like no other car truly can. The first one, obviously, the Carrera, has been modified extensively from bumper to bumper with those beautiful cosmetic upgrades, as well as some extra insane upgrades in the engine bay as well, whereas the 911 Turbo has received almost exclusively performance modifications, making it a one-of-a-kind track and street monster like nothing else, although that does not compromise its good looks because it has had several modifications made to its exterior as well. Comment below which one of these two beasts you would put in your garage, and while you're doing that, be sure to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a ton to every single one of us at the RPM Garage. And if you're doing other things for us, you should also totally check out our TikTok, our Facebook, our Instagram, and our inventory. All of these will be linked below as well. Thank you guys all so much, as always, for taking the time out of your day to watch our videos. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs>